could you let us know what your checklist is to investing in coins? Sure. So later today I'll be opening up the private group if you stick around long enough. Normally our streams like an hour or two hours. So if you make it to the point where I open the private group, you're going to get access to this uh, Google Doc. In the tips for noobs, I've kind of broken down what I do when I filter projects. Where did I find the play? What do you or the person who shielded it to you know? Okay, I found this one from Kobe's Gambles, so it's going to be more high risk because, uh, you know, so you're filtering that into your decision making. Or I found this one from Pow, like Pow's usually pretty good, pretty serious project, so it's probably got a little more weight than, you know, the one from Kobe's Gambles. Does the team have previous projects? Check the projects and analyze the charts. So a lot of things I see people do is like, team's previous project, 2 mil, team's previous project, 2 mil. So I'm like, okay, let me see it. And then I look at the fucking project, and I don't have a good example here, but it's basically like this. Okay, it's like 2 mil, and then it's dead within like 2 days. So to me, that's not a strong team or project at all. So people should not be excited about that at all. So it's f like, considering all this kind of stuff, what's the idea and the narrative behind the coin? Like, if it's a meme coin, you need a pretty good narrative on why it could go, like, semi-viral. It can't just be like, you can't just make up a coin called, like purple grass out of nowhere with like no contacts and no other grass coins doing well and no colors doing well and just expect it to blow up i mean it, it very well could but for the most part you want to play with probabilities here so you want to follow the stuff that has the best sounding narratives like a current example is doge one i think it's a pretty strong narrative because this is going to be launched into space in january and the mission's called Doge 1, and I'm sure Elon's probably going to be mentioning Doge or Doge 1. And as soon as people see that, you know, you expect the price to go up. And then the closer to launch it gets, I think the more and more people will talk about it. Hopefully this thing can, you know, start popping off. So that's what I mean by having like a good narrative. That's mostly for meme coins. If it's a utility-based coin, you got to make sure like the utility works, it's all smooth. Like for me, on Block GPT is a good example. So when I went to look at Block GPT, I saw the video of a guy who was able to set up a wallet, send that wallet money, and buy through talking to GPT. So he was just like, I would like to buy 0.1 ETH of Block GPT coin. And it bought it for him and it told him how many tokens he has. So it's a working utility. I know that much. But I wanted to see like how useful it is. So I'm like can I tell me about what's going on in the space? So I was like, what are the best meme coins right now? And it couldn't answer that question for me. So that's why I went from like very bullish on it to just like, uh, eh, it's pretty good because it can't answer questions that someone like myself would be very interested in knowing, like keeping track of the DGen space and what's going on there. And that's what a lot of us are, you know, concerned with. So just using common sense to see how useful a utility is, how original it is. And if you can't find these answers, there's always people to ask. You can go in our private group. That's what it's for, is discussing and, and like, educating people who aren't as, like, knowledgeable, who don't spend as much time in this space. These guys can help you out. And hopefully you go to your other private groups first. I mean, our people are very good at breaking it down, but I don't want too many, like, plays in there every day. Um, check the website. Is it clean and professional looking? Uh, if it's a meme one, it can be like a little crazy because people love when the websites are a little wild. But um, just analyzing like, okay, does this look basic? Like they're a serious team or did they just throw something together to try to catch advantage of the hype? I'd say that one doesn't matter that much. These are all things I look at. Then I go in the Telegram, I check the pins and I say like, how many different admins have pinned stuff? It gives me a, a guess on like how big their team is. So... If it's all the dev pinning every single message, I don't like that as much. I mean, I could still buy the coin for sure. If it's if it passes a lot of this stuff, I'll, I'll ignore it. But it's something that's in the back of my mind for sure. It's like, okay, it's the dev doing everything. It's kind of like a one-man show. And normally those don't work as well as like six different admins constantly pinning stuff. And they should have like a decent amount of pins depending on how long their project is. And then I'll even go through their pins and see, like, what are they talking about? Does it seem like they know what they're doing? How many team members are there? That kind of, you know, goes in the same thing as the pins. But then I'll, I'll actually, like, scroll up so and see, like, how active that team is. So for here, you know, Dodge 1, 
scroll up and be like, okay, the, the community is pretty silent, you know, not many messages in the last four hours, but there's one team member there. There's a second team member who's a different one. So we got two different team members talking in the last four hours, which isn't great, but then you look at how much the community's talking, and it's like, I guess they're just going with what they've got. What's the community vibe like, active or not? That's kind of like what I was just doing. And then the marketing budget and their plans for short-term growth. And like if the dev's good enough, like he'll answer that for you. And then using bots and scanners and tools to analyze the project is also very important. Especially early on in the project, it'll give you a lot better sense. Like when you're looking at something like Dodge One or ETF, I mean, using those bots and scanners aren't going to give you as much useful information. They can give you a, a decent, you know, a decent feel for like what the holders are like and the breakdown of the wallets and stuff like that. But this is more for like early on in the project. So that's just kind of uh, that. I haven't gone through these trading tips in a while, so I might as well. Anything could be a scam at any time. You always have to remember that. Um, so if you're not cool with losing two thousand dollars then you know make sure you get your initials out on some of these riskier plays and uh you can play with house money on the rest most of your bigger buys should be safe midterm plays or ones with a lot of buy pressure and volume and support from influencers degen plays should be small buys and low expectations Focus more time on first movers and midterm plays holding strong floors instead of chasing the next hype. So this all still holds pretty true to today. Yeah, so this is a strategy I like to do. So like, let's say Doge 1, let's say I'm like, okay, max, maximum I'm throwing 2 ETH into that. I'm not just going to throw 2 ETH in right away. I threw 0.5 ETH in when it was 300k after this first dip. I, I aped in. And then it dipped down to 100k, so I DCA'd because I'm still willing to throw more money in. But it's a little smarter sometimes to do a smaller buy than you want, just so you have the power to DCA um, if it does end up dumping. So, And buy more dips in the green candles for the most parts if the projects are strong looking. So like ones like this, it's like if you see it go down to here, that should be way more of a buy signal for you than if it's like pumps up to here. Like if this starts going up here and it goes like there, I don't think you should be, uh, you know, super hyper to buy. I think you should be super hyper to buy if it's like down here. And that's where setting alerts on your trading view can come in really handy. Like for me, I would set this one like here so that like if it ever comes down to this, this price point, I can buy in. And then I think, yeah, I can at least get a 1.5x, 2x out of that. Not sure how long that would take or not. Yeah, hopefully I got your question answered thoroughly there.